see how it goes. We are getting ready to dive the Manta, the newly sunk artificial reef in the Gulf. Thank you, sir. You guys check it out. It's going to be an awesome dive. All right, here we go. We're going down on the Manta. The Manta was sunk in January 15th of this year. It sits in 110 feet of water. The deck that we're coming down on right now is right at 60 feet, so it's perfect for recreational divers. Not a whole lot of life on it yet since it was just deployed less than a month ago. However, there is some algae that's starting to grow on it. The Manta is one of two ships set to be deployed in the Gulf. The other one being the Dolphin. They're both part of a five-year plan at $2 million, both being about a $1 million each to clean and prep the sink. All right, here we are. We're coming up on Christ of the Gulf. So this is a nine-foot tall Jesus statue that was part of the artificial reef when they sunk it. I guarantee you that this is gonna be the most photographed spot in the entire Gulf for a while for scuba diving. And in the words of Alex Fogg, who is an Okaloosa Coastal Resource Manager and the man behind the scenes who is making this happen, making a targeted vessel investments to increase the density of unique, marketable artificial reefs and experiences aligns with our destination stewardship approach by expanding fish habitat and expanding our list of visitor adventures by creating interesting water destinations for diving and fishing. And that's perfectly stated because that's what we're here to do. We're gonna dive on it today, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the fish are gonna set up on this structure. So whether you guys come out here, drop a jig, or just kinda troll around the area, this is gonna be an awesome destination. So sitting at 100 feet of water, you're looking at only having to toss a 100 gram jig. So this is pretty lightweight stuff. And I guarantee you that all these cutouts, swim throughs, and little holes are gonna be an awesome place for red snapper, and grouper and all the other pelagic fish to kind of hang out and just wait for you to present your lure. If you notice right here, this rope, huh, that's gonna be the one that got away for some of you guys. Get into that thing and it's gonna feel like a tank, but it's a trap. We're out here diving on this ship with Shark Quest Dive Shop. Eric Larson, he's a co-owner and he's also the captain. His boat's pretty awesome because it's him captain in the boat and it's just the people that are diving. Very knowledgeable guy, really awesome guy to just kind of chit chat and talk to. So if you guys are ever in the uh, Gulf Breeze area, stop by his shop and say hi. Pick up some stuff to spear lionfish or top off your tanks. It's a pretty nice little shop. They have everything that you could ever need for diving. I'll leave his information in the description below. If you guys have ever dove with Shark Quest Dive Shop, leave a comment below and let us know your experiences because I guess I got nothing but positive things to say. He put us right on the mark, put us right on the Manta, and in my next video, I'll show you guys the Courageous, another awesome wreck that was sunk just late last year. I'm telling you, these guys are doing a lot of work, doing a lot of good stuff to put in these artificial reefs for us to come out of dive and fish on. It's pretty awesome considering that the Gulf is usually just kind of a sandy bottom, but as soon as you put these wrecks out there, man, did the fish come to them. All right, check out this big open section in the midship of the boat. This thing is gonna hold some fish. I guarantee you, you come down here in six months and you're gonna find some pretty awesome grouper, amberjacks, and red snapper just hanging out on this thing. I guarantee it. It's just massive. I mean, the whole ship is 180 feet long, sits 55 feet tall and 38 feet wide with massive swim throughs, holes, gaps, nooks, crannies, anywhere where fish can hide, a fish will hide. And look at there, what do we have? Our first set of fish look like a bunch of little blue runners, but they found the boat and they're gonna bring another fish. See, I'm telling you, this thing's gonna be amazing. 16 nautical miles off of Destin, you can make it out there in 20 minutes. Well, maybe about an hour, but still how neat is that that's pretty neat anyways thanks for diving with me i'm going up all right that's it that's the manta just sunk less than a month ago not a whole lot of fish on it yet but give that about a month and that thing's gonna be loaded for you scuba divers that thing is gonna be awesome for you guys to do your swim throughs your overhead environment stuff 
and then uh, just go out and check out an awesome new wreck that they put out there for everybody that wants to fish it. Give it a couple months. That thing's going to be loaded. You guys won't be disappointed. I guarantee you that. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.